तो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द रिएक्ट नेटिव कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टॉक अबाउट हैंडलिंग द टेक्स्ट इनपुट इन रिएक्ट नेटिव हाउ डू वी हैंडल द टेक्स्ट इनपुट फील्ड इन रिएक्ट नेटिव ओके सो फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस अबाउट दैट हाउ डू वी क्रिएट टेक्स्ट इनपुट फील्ड इन रिएक्ट नेटिव एंड हाउ वी डिफाइन स्टेट देयर एंड वी विल आल्सो सी अप्लाइंग सम स्टाइलिंग इन देयर एंड आफ्टर दैट हाउ टू वी गेट द input value whatever the user type on the text input and we will also see that how do we clear that text input value okay let's see let's let's go on the code and let's learn quickly it so i'm going to open the vs code so in the last session we have seen about the styling in react native quickly i'm just summarizing it like how do we write inline style how do we write external styles how do we write internal styles and we have all also seen that how do we write inline styles like this okay like by writing a array and inside the array we can have a multiple styles now let's clean this code and let's learn about the input field in react native so if we have to create a component like i can type r n f e s so it will give it a one component for me using that extension which i have already seen so you es7 snippet okay to create a text input field what i have to do basically i have to type text input okay it will import it from the react native so we can see here i imported text input field if you guys are not getting suggestion we can you can statically import this from the react native now let's suppose i want to make a property calls name set name I'm going to create a one state to handle that text input. Use a state, and by default the value is null. Okay, and we can see that we are getting null and nothing. So let me add a placeholder. You enter your name. Now we can see that. Now let's style this quickly. So outline border. color so i'm going to give a border color is a one one pix okay my bad border color will be black uh border color will be black for now so let's see and let me add a border width or order also so border width will be one yeah perfect now we can see the our this one let me change the background color as a you know white for now so we can see the background color is a white and the color is a black okay now if i type something he perfect awesome now we can add a something called value and we can assign our value as a name so if i type it statically like you know 0 degree border so we can see that that value we are able to see okay but we are not able to update that value okay so we have to make this field dynamic so let's make it dynamic so first we have to assign this state to this value so let me assign this state perfect now we can see that nothing is there so if i write something here so we can see that zero awesome oh not zero yeah zero cool uh, let me add some padding horizontal as a 20 so we will get some padding now we have function called on change okay so on change uh, value function will give a uh, some value let's console it out and let's see what we are getting on the on change so if i do something if i type f properties okay let me reload this again and if i type f so we are getting nothing man like okay so there is one even called on text change if i'm not wrong and again if i see if i just to console dot one and if i type something so we can see that we are getting that value whatever we are typing here okay 
so once we get that value so basically we have to use on change text event okay now whenever we get the value so we have to set name as this updated value so what is going to happen it will update the value every time so let's see uh let me reload the app quickly and let me reload and if i just you know console dot one this whatever the value is updating every time console dot one name and let's see so currently the name is nothing if i type a f so we can see f if i remove this if i type tab zero degree so you can see you know that value this name is updating every time so this is how we we we, we can handle the uh, we can handle the text input react native so let's suppose you don't want to write this text like this so we can also make like this const handle input and this this will be a function okay which will getting the value and we can call this function like this uh, okay now if i console this value here okay so we can see that we are getting that value as a zero degree f okay now and we can update the latest value set name is a val perfect and this is how we handle the text input in react native perfect now let's see how do we clear this text input value in the react native to clear that uh, let me create another button called button from react native and this is how we create a button and the color will be any suggestion pink for sure now handle press and i'm going to create a function called handle clear input okay i'm going to create another function called handle clear input and this is how we create an arrow function okay and let me add some title here like title as a clear input clear name basically okay so now on the top uh hi i'm also showing the name like whatever the name is there on the state so in the state of a app we are going to say name hi zero degree coder now what i want to do basically whenever we click user click on clear name so the input field value should be get clear so how we can do that we can do like this set name as a like this empty string so if i clear me so it will get clear again if i type something boom boom okay so this is all about we have seen that how to get a text input field how do you define state we have seen the how do you apply the style in react native how do we get the text input value on change and how do you clear input text value in react native so yeah that's all about the input field in react native in the next session we are going to talk about how do you build a form in react native a basic form like you no know, where we can see that password icon if the, that is true then only you can see that password otherwise it will not be visible so that's all we are going to learn about in the basic form in react native in the next session so please let me know if you guys have any question till air and let's meet in the next session thank you bye